W.I. Hilton for the Daily Records Leadership and Law Awards. Well, you know, here, what I really love is we have some leaders in the law and we have the JD generation, which is very exciting. I know some of the younger honorees and I love seeing them here. Oh, it's always so exciting and new, meeting new people and to be among people who like to serve and give back to the community. Um, I always find it very inspiring. Um, makes me want to join another board <laughs> or take on another service project. I find it very inspiring just to be amongst the group. The theme for me has always been in my charity work is uh, education is the key to economic yes. empowerment and um, just to, to really have impact in the in the city of Baltimore. I've been networking for the last couple of minutes and I've already met several attorneys who have had past interactions with our nonprofit and who know what we do and are excited to get more involved in the future. So it's a chance for me to talk about Melwood, um, to talk about what I love to do and the great work we do with people with differing abilities. Well, one of the things that's great for, about the Daily Record from an educational point of view is it just keeps us all informed about what's happening uh, around the town and around the state. Um, and this is a different way of it, recognizing what's happening to people throughout their careers. You lead, you mentor, you give of your time, and you serve. I've been a lawyer 26 years, and uh, when I arrived at my first job, the first thing they said was, every day you read the Daily Record, and that was just part of your day. And, and so my whole career, the Daily Record, has been just, just part of what it means to be a lawyer. Well, tonight is an even bigger honor for me because the founder of the Maryland Hispanic Bar, which I'm currently president of, was also awarded. She was awarded the Lifetime Achievement Award. Being honored with her is extra special for me. It's such an honor. I mean, there are no words to express, you know, what it means to anyone to receive this kind of award. It really reflects what you have done through your life. As a, as a lawyer especially, that is really very humbling, wonderful. Well, one thing about the law is it's, it's a lifetime learning career, and uh, I love learning. One thing has led to another, has led to another, but it's all been really about a lifetime of learning, which I think is one of the great things about practicing law. The 24 Leadership in Law winners, they actually select the top winner that will be chosen from that group. That's remained a secret until tonight. It is my honor to announce this year's top leader in the law, Christopher B. Kehoe. I want to thank the people who I work with, who, and that's why I'm here tonight, my colleagues from the Court of Special Appeals. This award really, I think, a recognition for all of their efforts and the efforts of, I think, one of the best state court systems in the country. Thank you all very much.